if you tell somebody they've got asthma, uh, does that scare people? Do they think, am I going to die of asthma? Is there mild asthma? Is there intermittent asthma? Is there severe asthma? It does scare people because they always picture the person who's gasping for air and who can't breathe. I hate the word mild because even a mild intermittent asthmatic can severely flare and end up in the emergency room, the hospital, the ICU, and on a ventilator. So I, I avoid using mild with patients. But I like to take advantage of moderate to severe because they hear that and they understand, ooh, Dr. Jones says this is moderate to severe. I better take this seriously. I better use my medications. I better uh, uh, take my time and take care of myself. So let's talk about if somebody has an asthma attack, what do you mean by that and how do they treat it? An asthma attack versus just chronic asthma symptoms of some cough, congestion, wheezing that is not necessarily distressful. An attack is very distressful. The airways clamp down, they can't breathe. It's very, if you ever had a sensation where you couldn't get your breath, it's very distressing to a patient. So all asthmatics have to have a rescue medication, an acute reliever that works quickly. So a reliever, a rescue medicine, what are you talking about? These are medicines like albuterol. And albuterol is a short acting beta agonist that we can take two to four puffs depending on the severity of the attack. So it's an inhaler. It is an inhaler. Is it, do people know how to use inhalers? Yeah, spend a lot of time talking to them. Yeah. Part of treatment of asthma is education. In fact, it's probably the, a, a significant part. They have to know what this medicine does, how to use it properly, and why they need to use it as instructed. So if somebody's having an attack, they can't breathe, they feel smothering, and they know they've got a reliever, how long does it take the reliever to work? Very quickly. Two to five minutes, we should be seeing some improvement in symptoms, okay? Now, I'll often tell them if they had any, let's, we go back to our patients, 3 a.m., I'm woken up, I'm distressed, I can't breathe. Two to four puffs, wait 15 minutes. If you're still having trouble, two to four more puffs, wait 15 minutes, still having trouble, we'll try one more time, two to four puffs. But at that point, it's time to get to the emergency room. So it may be that you don't respond to the reliever uh, and there's a plan to get to the emergency room.